video, I'm going to show you the best gun bunch flooding concept for cover three post patch in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you take your game to the next level. And like I said, in this video, we're going to take a look at a concept that is really good against the meta double Mabel coverage that I think you're going to see a lot. The Mike Blitz 3 meta, which I think is going to become increasingly popular because of how good um, the cover three patch has been in regards to how cover three plays uh, a significantly better coverage. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also wanted to let you know that if you want to go deeper in my uh, in my gun bunch offense, you want to learn the entire offensive scheme, I would really encourage you right now to go ahead and pick up my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is just $10 a month. And for just $10 a month, you'll unlock access to every ebook that I've released in Madden 22 and every ebook that I'm going to release as long as your subscription is active. That basically means you get unlimited access to all of my offensive and defensive guides. Since right now we have 10 ebooks, all of them get updated whenever there's a patch or anything that we need to update. And the bunch ebook is getting ready to go through a major update because a lot of things that worked in gun bunch pre-patch don't necessarily work as well in the post patch. So that being said, if you want to learn all of my gun bunch offense, or if you just want to learn all of my ebooks, like I said, I have seven defensive guys, three offensive guides. I'd encourage you to pick up the Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want. And like I said, it gets you unlimited access to everything. So if you want to pick that up, there's a link down below where you can click on that and go get it for just 10 bucks. All right, guys, let's talk about this. This is my favorite flood concept post patch. Bench pivot out of bunch is really, really, really good. And the reason why is because most people, most people are going to be putting their cloud flats or their, their flat zones on 25 or 30. The beauty of bench pivot is this is going to get kind of underneath those, kind of like a tight end post route would if you were running some kind of trips tight end style offense. The beauty of this is it also gets over the top of five to 10 yard curl flats, which is basically what a lot of people are going to be doing in their Mabel concept. So I'm going to give you two money plays out of this, and they basically look exactly the same. The first one is what you're going to do in order to get people to want to run 30 yard uh, zones, and that is you're, we are going to run this uh, Z spot and go. What you're going to see is the corner route is going to come from the slot receiver. The tight end is going to be on the vertical, and you're going to see that it's going to basically look just like this. We're going to motion out that out route to the outside, and what you'll see is this R1 will get pretty good separation to that right side. You might have to do a little swerve catch to click on, but for the most part, he's going to be good. Let me show you that one more time. And like I said, cover three is significantly better. We're going to show you how to deal with that. Uh, in just a second but again most people they're going to be putting their zone drops very very high when you start running this corner route right here this corner route is a very important thing now i will say i do like to run a backside skinny post just to kind of help pull some zones um, a little bit better there you see passing that down away and as you see he kind of gets in that in that general area okay now the important part is what we're going to do with bench pivot and this is again obviously you know the cover three is doing a decent job in this example but when they have zone drops on, it's a little bit different. That outside zone, you know, we can do another quick concept that I'll go through real quick just for cover three. Again, what I just showed you works really well for cover two and cover four. Um, cover three, by the is not exactly the best, but you can still beat it. So you could basically just streak circle, motion him to the outside. And then what you'll see is now the R1 corner will be wide open to that sideline. Okay, so it's going to get them to what all we're trying to do is get them to put their flats on 30 yards because that's going to then open up this next thing that I'm going to show you, uh, which is the tight end corner. So uh, if you take a look here at this tight end corner from bench pivot, the only adjustment we're going to make, we're still going to motion out that circle receiver and we're still going to streak our we're going to streak our one. That's that's it. That's the only adjustments that I make to this. And we've got a quick flat read to Brown, but then watch this tight end route. See how you can throw that and a lot of different opportunities. Now, this was a route that was really, really good last year. And in this year's game, for the most part, most people haven't really leveraged it. Most people haven't really used it. Hasn't been that popular in tournaments. But now, because of the patch of the cover three, what you're going to see is because we're running it from the tight end, it gives the the, the corner, or the, the R1 receiver, time to pull that guy away. And as you see, it's about 20 to 25 yards it's not a 30 yard or 35 yard corner so when they drop that that flat zone to 30 yards 
that's not going to be able to guard it. You're going to be able to easily just basically pass lead around it, get it open, you know, especially if you have a gunslinger quarterback. This is all going to work really, really well. And you also still have a backside check down that you can always work your dig over the middle of the field. But you see here, like right here, that's a 20-yard route. That's a 20-yard route. Depending on when and where you throw the ball, this becomes a very good concept. It's also really good is a flip concept. And the reason why is because it's every bit as good to the short side as it is to the wide side. It might even be better to the short side. And the reason why is because, again, the delayed, the lag time that you have from this tight end route. It looks like it's on a streak here, but nope, it's a corner. And then I can just pass lead that up. And as you see, it's about 25, 20 to 25 yards, which it's getting underneath those zone drops that a lot of people are going to be using. So that's bench pivot, guys. Really good, especially when you pair with Z-Spot and Go. They basically look exactly the same. And then, of course, you could pair that with verticals, you know, try to get your cover three bomb on from this, um, or just kind of force them to have to respect the fact that you can quick throw to this flat and get easy yardage. So a lot you can still do from bunch. And I'd encourage you, if you want to get uh, all of my eBooks for the year, be sure to join that Patreon membership. We've got 10 guides in there, one of them being gun bunch, another one being bunch tight end and another one being trips tied in on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, we've got things like 3-3-5 wide, 2-4-5 odd, 3-3-5 odd, 3-3-5 um, will, which I think is one of the most underrated defenses in the game right now. So if you want to learn all of that stuff for one low price of 10 bucks a month, I would really encourage you to pick up that Patreon. Again, you can cancel whenever you'd like to. Join the Patreon, 10 bucks a month. We basically release a new ebook probably every one to three weeks, every one to two to three weeks. Uh, I think the most lag time we've had is two weeks so far this season, and we're just continuing to pump them out. So you want to get better at Madden, you want to get some schemes, I would really encourage you to go join the Patreon. It's a great way to support me as a creator. There's a link in the description below if you want to go get it and learn all of my material. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.